Hello guys, welcome to another exciting tutorial with me. In this particular tutorial, I'll be showing you how you can design this club flyer using CorelDRAW software. If you've not subscribed to my channel, kindly hit the subscribe button and don't forget to turn on the post notification so you won't miss any videos I'll be dropping anytime from now. Um, for my returning subscribers, thank you for the likes and everything. Keep liking and keep sharing. Um, without further ado, let's get started. So first thing I would like to do is I would click on I would open up my CorelDRAW software and uh, click on file, file, then new. So now I'll just gently just give this a name by myself. So I'll just give it, uh, so I could just type club flyer. And um, the primary mode RGB, um, 5x5, then the resolution set to 300. Haven't done that, I'll click OK. Now to start with, I'll double click on the rectangle to have another rectangle inside of it. Um, this is where we, this is where would serve as my base for the design and creating. So I'll press um, function F4 or F4 on your keyboard as the case may be, and I'll just give this any color, but I'll make sure to remove the outline. As you can see, I have my outline, so I'll just remove my outline here. Having done that, I will be doing the first thing inside this design. The first step is to draw um, a rectangle. So what I will do, I will select the rectangle tool and I will draw inside of the page like this. It doesn't have to be proportional or anything. Just make sure you're drawing a good rectangle inside like this. So the next thing I will do is I want to make, I want to um, increase the outline width of this rectangle. If you notice, I'm not adding the color inside of the rectangle. I'm only dealing with the outlines here. So I would re, um, increase the outline with select this from the drop down arrow. I'll click on 10. Okay, this is what I'll be making use of 10 guys. So having done that, um, let me use 12 just to be on a safer side. So I'll be using 12 for this. So having done that, I'll want to convert this um, outline to object. So what would I do? I'll come up here to where it says objects, I'll click on it and um, select convert outline to object. The shortcut is control shift and Q. So I'll just select it and voila, there you have it. Now this particular um, outline of this shape is now an object. So what that means is that I can actually give it a color of any choice. As you can see guys, I just give it a color. So but I'll just leave it at black now and f4 to zoom to full screen so next thing i'll be doing is now i'll be adding my text inside of this box so what i'll do is i'll select my text tool and uh, you can type anywhere inside your inter interface uh, so i'll just type ladies and then night good so i would use the font i used select uh, the font here, highlight it and type the one I want to use, which is this papers. So, um, having changed the font, I noticed that um, this weird space you have here, so I would want to close that up. What I'll do is I'll come over to my shape to select it and drag it inside like this, push it up like this. And also to the sides, I want to reduce the spaces. I think I'm, I'm cool with something like this. F4 to zoom out when you're done and also I would want to um, make adjustment to this night so I want to break this text apart I want to separate it, this text I want it to, to be different so what I'll do is I'll come up here to where I have object I'll click on object and click on and select break artistic text so that's what I'll be selecting as you can see now and I now have the ladies separate and the night separate so what I can do is I will select the knights like this and uh, increase the size like this up onto this point. So with this level, I'm cool with it. So let me zoom out to see what I'm doing exactly. So now right now what I will do is I will select the knight and select the ladies and uh, I can increase the font size here. But this won't work for what I want to do because I have breaking the text apart. So what I will do is I won't be adjusting the size here like this i'll be doing it manually so i'll just increase the size like this and uh, 
place it well inside here somewhat like this I think I'm okay with this I'll just make it a little bit bigger a bit and good with this I'll come here and actually increase the size of this um, of this shape like this so I have enough space at the baseline here like this so what I'll just do I would take out my text and type ladies night again this time I'll be using I won't be using all caps so I'll just type ladies um, night so I'll just move this in place here and change the font I used la lambrecia here yeah this is the font I used so I'll just um, reduce the size of the font here like this and and I want to still take that in a bit bring it here so it's quite visible and uh, reduce it just a notch zoom out f4 so I, I can see what I'm doing clearly so the next thing I'll be typing here is um, the other text I have so I'll just bring up my text tool and um, start typing So I've typed what I need to type. So because I typed it all together, I can use this to adjust the size of the text. So I'll just bring this down to 10. I think 10 is good. And I can manually adjust it too by shifting from the edges. So guys, I'll change the font. The font I use for this is Galano Grotesque. So I'll just change, like this is the font I used. I would reduce the spaces in between these texts like this and uh, I will change it from the normal to I think I used the board here so I would use um, okay so I'll use this here so what I could just do to this is make this a little bit bigger so um, have in mind that um, clarity is keen when you're designing must be visible and clear to the eyes so what I will just do is I will just um, break this apart so I can so what I can just do is just break this apart so I can actually add an edit here so I'll go to objects and I would break artistic text so guys you now have this text apart so guys the next thing I will do is I would want to um, write the date so I'll just make a duplicate copy of this ctrl c ctrl v and paste it here so i'll type out the date so this is saturday the 25th of august so what i can do to this is to make this bigger this way and um, reduce the spaces in between the text here just like this and uh, shift this up a bit like this I'll make it a copy of this Ctrl C Ctrl V I'll use this for time so I'll just write my time um, 10 p.m. prompt so I will reduce this a bit I don't want it to be too big um, somewhere around this is okay so I'll just select this and I want to align this this um, the time to the date here. What I'll do, I'll selecting the I'll select the time first. Hold down the shift key and select the date here. Then I'll press L on my keyboard. L means to align left. So that's what I just did. If you want to align right, you press arrow on your keyboard, selecting the two of them. But I want to align left. So selecting the two of them, I'll just press L. So I've aligned to the left. So I will zoom out, see what I'm doing clearly. Um, I want to increase the size of this. So I will change from Galano Grotesque to um, Extra Bold. Yeah, this is what I will be using. Guys, um, the resource file to this um, particular tutorial session is 
directly below the description of this video so you can do well to use it um, and practice along with me so I haven't done that what I'll just do is I'll select everything like this I would group everything how do I group that select like this and right click and click group now I have grouped everything I can now move this aside and change the background color from here from white to black select black here and now you have it as black and I will change everything here as the text and everything I have here to white so I'll just select white now I'll just move this in place like this still selected I'll move this in place like this okay now um, we've come to the second section of this design now we'll be adding our effect to this text and to the shape itself so first things first I would select everything I've grouped and come up here where it says ungroup all objects and just select it now I've ungrouped everything each element are now on their own the text and the shape itself they are now on their own so what I would want to do next is um, I would want to apply the gradient fill you saw in that design so what I'll do is I would actually go back to my resource file I would open up my resource file and select this gold background I'll just drag and drop so guys I've dragged and I've dropped inside so what I'll just do is I'll move this aside to see I would actually be power clipping it inside of this box so before I do that, I, I would like to make several copies of this particular um, gold effect. So Ctrl C, Ctrl V. I'll put this one somewhere here. I can make this smaller like this. I'll make another copy of this. Ctrl C, Ctrl V to make another copy of this and have this here. So with this one, this first one, I would actually um, right click and select power clip. When this funny arrow pops up, I would select this particular shape and place it inside. And what I would do is I would uh, select it, uh, click on it, and right click and click on Edit Power Clip. So, guys, I'm inside of that shape right now. What I can do is just adjust uh, the gold well so I have uh, a good gradient inside. So, while I'm done with what I have, I'll click on Finish. Um, I think um, let me use another position for this I want this aspect of it to be lighter so I've moved this in place here so what I'm doing I'll just click finish good as you can see guys uh, this is what I would want to use for this so I will just bring this one I have here what I'll do is I will select this ladies um, night this text the two of them select this one select this one and what I'll do is I will convert to curve now right click and click on convert to curve the shortcut is ctrl q so selecting that the next thing i'll do is up here i'll click on weld guys know that you have to convert to curve before you, this can be active so as you can see now it's not active so i'll just click it so now what this has done it has welded these two texts together so it is now one text they are now together so what I can do is, um, with this one selected, this gold I kept aside, I will just um, right click and um, right click and click on power clip inside and select this ladies night. As you can see guys, I've added that gradient effect to this spot. I want only the lighter part of it. So I'll just double click, um, right click on it and click edit power clip so what i'll do is i'll move out um, move this lighter aspect inside of these ladies as you can see this is uh, this is the shape of the ladies night so i'll just move only this aspect so this will be the only part of uh, the gradient reflecting so when i'm done i would click on finish as you can see guys um, this is what I have made out of this so moving on um, 
I will be adding um, um, different colors to what I have here. So first things first, this dress code because it's something that um, is very very important. Um, not the dress code, the RSVP every Sunday. So I would like to highlight it. So how would I do that? I will select like this and having it selected like this, I will just come over to where I have my eyedropper tool. I would move to where I have this color and select with my eyedropper tool. Then I'll go over where I have this um, RSVP every Sunday and click on it like this. So I've given it the same color I have here. With this still selected, I would come over here to where I have 25th of August and give this the color too. But now guys, um, onto this part where I have uh, Saturday 20th of August, I don't want the color um i don't want the color all over this the um saturday 20th august i want it on just the 25th of august so what i'll do is i would um with my picture selected i would double click on the text and i will just highlight the saturday i won't i like this part so highlighting the saturday what i'll do i'll just come here where i have my white color and select the white so guys i've given the saturday a different color that's how you you change between color variations in your design using coral draw so um what i'll do is i'll click on f4 function f4 i won't be needing this again so i'll just delete this so control f4 to put back to full screen like this so i will just bring this down a little bit and make this slightly bigger like this as you can see guys so next thing i will be doing is i would be adding my first model so i'll go over to where i have my resource file and i will just drag this and place inside here like this i'll zoom out um and resize this so having done that, um, I have a problem with this image. She should be facing this side. So what I'll just do is I'll come up here and select mirror horizontally. Now she's facing this side. So what I'll do is I would um, apply transparency fill to this image. So first things first, I'll come here to have transparency. Click on it and hold down my shift key from her mouth region here. I'll drag down. Make sure it's not it's not overlapping like this have it to the base here like this now this is the first thing i will do so uh, to apply another effect to this image i would want to bitmap it because if i don't bitmap it i won't be able to add another effect to it so what i'll do is i'll just come over to where i have bitmap convert to bitmap and make sure it's set to 300 color mode rgb make sure these boxes are checked so i'll click ok so having done that again, I'll go back again, bitmap, convert, the same process. Now I can now go and add another um, effect to it. So I'll come back to transparency and I'll want to blur this part. So as you can see guys, with the first one I created and this other one, the image is blurred and it's set to go. So what I'll do is I want to power clip it inside of this um, squared shape. Um, base we created so what i'll do is i'll just um, right click on this image like this and click on power clip inside i'll just now then select this box i have here and put it inside as you can see guys it didn't really sit well it's on this side what you can do is double click on it and shift this in place here like this to position it well so i have it somewhere so i'll still move it to this part I will move it to this part like this and um, um, good with what I have here just position this well and when I'm done I'll just click finish as you can see guys it's nicely seated inside of this design I can I could just make it bigger double click on it and uh, make it bigger like this okay guys this is how I want it to be here so when I'm done, I'll just click finish. So guys, having done that, I'll be bringing in my second model. So I'll just go over to where I have my file and I'll just drag and 
drop inside here like this I'll minimize this so to see what I'm doing in real time and I would resize it like this hold down the shift key and resize like this I would want to put uh, I still may need to make this bigger so I'll just resize like this don't worry about the text here we can still resize this later so I'll just select my text this text I have here select it and uh, reduce it a bit so our model won't cover the whole of the text so what I can do for her here now is to make sure I have this in place and I'm not covering some of the informations I have here okay guys this is where I would be leaving her but I have one problem now one thing I want to do to make this uh, work well is I will be creating another so I'll just put this aside here like this and create another um, shape like this squared shape I have here this would work um, this would be what would um, house this uh, model here so what I'll do is I'll double click on this rectangle and I would bring this out just to see that I have another shape as you can see guys I have another shape like this so what I would do is I would just um, right click on her and power clip inside or select this shape as you can see guys I have power clip her inside of this now what I'll do is I'll remove the outline come here and right click on this so I've gotten rid of the outline but I want to position her well but before I do that I would select her like this and click on shift page up make sure it's on top and i'll press p on my keyboard p takes it to the center of the page it centralizes it to the page now having done that what i'll do is i'll double click on this where i have her here and i'll move her to the side just so the information i have here is visible so having moved her to this place i would move her a little bit Further like this and what I can do is increase that a bit to this level and I think I'm good with it here like this so what I can do is click on finish as you can see guys because I use that second um, shape as a baseline for her so it's now inside you don't have anything outside of it so I'll click on Control F4 function f4 to zoom out like this so what i can do now is i'll select my dates and everything like this and um, reduce the size like this so i have the size reduced to okay guys having done that i would want to apply my lighting effect this is like my favorite part of this design so what i'll do is i'll come over to have my ellipse I would hold down my control key to draw a proportional um, shape like this. What I will now do is because I, I would sample, I would sample for my address, selecting um, the ellipse to I would click the eyedropper to color eyedropper and select from her dress like this, select it and apply it here. What I will do is again remove the outline just as I've done in the past and come back to my transparency tool select this other one that says uniform transparent fountain transparency select it then select this one that says elliptical fountain transparency now I've applied a brush like effect to it now this is our lighting so what I can do is I'll just uh, move inside of the page to see what we're doing clearly but before I do that, I would like to change the blend mode. I will select this and change the blend mode to screen. So guys, I changed the blend mode to screen. So I would be leaving this here because I need something like this here. Somewhere around this place. Um, anywhere that actually works for you. I'll make a duplicate copy, Ctrl C and Ctrl V. And I will move this somewhere around here. I will also make a, a duplicate copy again, Ctrl C and Ctrl V. So I'll just place this somewhere around here. Now I will take this, uh, right click on it, and power clip inside, select 
this now I have it inside where I have an image so what I can do is I can bring that down a bit I can bring her down a bit and I would have this here and make this quite bigger like this somewhere like this I'm cool with this effect I have here so I can control C and control V to intensify the effects but this time I'll reduce it like this not too big so I haven't done that I would uh, click finish just to see what I'm doing in real time and guys I have to make sure that that thing I applied is behind her I don't want it to be in front of her so I'll double click to assess what I've uh, clipped and select the two of them select this first one select the second one and click on shift page down as you can see guys I've moved it uh, as you can see guys I've moved I've moved uh, as you can see guys I've moved it behind her like this so what I can do next is click on finish to see what I'm doing clearly as you can see guys I have a lighting effect but um, this is not where I want it to be I want it further up so I can just double click and select the two of them and, and uh, make sure you're selecting the right thing select the two of them and move up like this so I'll move up to this part like this and when I'm done I'll click I'll click out and click finish guys this is where I want it to be so I can just go back inside and take this and apply this effect somewhere here shift page up to bring this up and make this smaller like this so what I can do is I would uh, leave this somewhere here I think I might want to reduce our image a little bit and cool with this so I'll just leave this here and bring this inward a little bit so I have a little bit of this reflection here guys you can go on and on I can take this ctrl C ctrl V and bring this here just so I have uh, a reflection on our skin too and you can actually position it anywhere just make sure anything you are doing um, you are applying minimalism to it it's not too much you don't have lights flying everywhere so guys I haven't done that I click on finish and I would make an adjustment to what I have here and position this well so I have it inside of our skin I don't have it outside haven't done that I'll click finish okay guys um, so I can have another copy of this so I'll control Ctrl C and Ctrl V to make another copy of this. I'll bring this one here and reduce the size like this. So guys, lastly, I will take this one I I, I did before and I want to power clip it inside this. So I'll Ctrl X, double click on this and Ctrl V to put it inside. So I'll just leave it here and when I'm done, click finish. So you have a lighting effect. I want to make this bigger. So I'll just bring it here and bring down like this and click on finish when I'm done. So you have a light emanating from this region of the design too. Um, F4 to zoom out to see what you're doing clearly. And I just want to make an adjustment to this part of it. So I'll double click on it and uh, move this lighting a bit further from the image so when I'm done I'll click finish this brings me to the end of my tutorial session um, if you've liked this video if it has helped you if you've learned something new in this video kindly give it a thumbs up and um, make sure you subscribe to my channel and you have your post notification turned on because I'm gonna be dropping a lot of videos after this so guys I will see you in the next video 